My name is Jimmy Wood, and I'm a barber full time. I first started picking up clippers and cutting hair when my younger brother and his friends wanted me to cut their hair. And then I started cutting my own, and then more friends and more friends wanted haircuts. Um, I knew I wanted to be a barber when I first moved to like the DC, Maryland area. I was working a retail job on a military base, and I really enjoyed the customers coming in. They were excited to see me and excited with my interactions, and I decided to pair that with like a haircutting skill set and make this a career. Good customer service is probably the most important thing in this job. <laughs> you can be an average barber and like kick ass behind the chair if you just show up on time, respond to your clients on time, and just like give up, give good service. Like you could be haircutting is like the least important thing in being a barber almost. <laughs> nah, haircuts um, is not just a haircut. It's like definitely part of your image. It's definitely part of you know your day-to-day -day, how people respond to you so for some people a haircut's just a haircut for, for most of my clients and people that come to me regular it's a lot more it's like their image it's who they are it's you know become something very important to them oh jimmy is legend um i've had that name since uh myspace <laughs> and it's from a band that i like and a movie so it's combined so it's a, the movie i am legend there's a band I really like that's called He Is Legend, and they're releasing a new album. They're like, everybody changed their name to Your Name Is Legend. And then I did that, and then I just liked how it looked. I liked how Jimmy Is Legend uh, looks. And uh, as my name, and I just kept it. It was my MySpace name, it's my Instagram name, my Twitter, Snapchat. So, stuck. People, people seem to like it, so. <laughs> um, Christmas Eve two years ago, the furniture store next to the shop I was working at caught on fire and me and three of the barbers in the shop went over with the fire extinguishers and attempted to put this fire out until the fire department showed up. And then that was at like 9 a.m. on Christmas Eve and then we proceeded to cut hair the rest of the day and all of us had like the busiest day of the year. Like right after like fighting a fire in a mattress store. <laughs> It was an exciting day. I had like one of the busiest, it was like the busiest day I'd ever had up until the, that point. So like I got off work and I was like hanging out with my boy Kenny and we just like looked at each other like, did we just like make a ton of money, put out a fire? I think we had a couple drinks. I you know it was just like a crazy day, the whole how everything played out. And then we just looked at each other and just like laughed. So that was probably one of my best memories. <laughs> Good old Hyattsville. <laughs>